I regret to announce that Speed Week 2015 is canceled. The most we could find was two and a quarter miles of salt that was suitable for a safe race course. If the wet salt gets dry, future events could be possible. Fast cars need minimum three miles, but most need five miles of timing. If they're going five miles, two to three miles shutdown, that's just to stop. Salt flats, by their very nature, are ephemeral environments. They can change just in response to natural conditions very rapidly. You add in the impact of land use, mining, racing, freeway expansion, things like that, and all of these things are gonna play a role in impacting the environment. This is the best salt. The problem with this course is it's only two miles. But look how the salt's starting to perk up through that mud. It's turning to white. This could heal in a year. Am I optimistic? Yeah, we get this little crust of soggy salt on the surface, but then what it's exposing is this underlying layer that's this gypsum sand with some clays and muds in there. And so that's what does not make a good racing surface. I've been made aware that the salt flats have been depleting and that the race surface isn't as good as it was in the past. So the dialogue has all of a sudden opened up. Where did it go? What happened? Will we ever race again? We're the racers who are caught in the middle. We want to run our race cars and we don't want the racetrack to go away. We don't think it's right in the, in the name of potash chemical sales to deplete it. The BOM is charged with protecting this resource. And there's a strong feeling that they're not doing a very good job of it. The Bureau of Land Management has designated it as an area of critical environmental concern. We take uh, very seriously the responsibility to manage those salt flats. In 2012, when we approved the mining to continue, it was with the requirement that they replenish the salt. We're confident the science shows that the mining companies are not taking out any more salt than we're putting back. We believe that they're putting back more salt than they take out. The mining operation, they're extracting potassium to make fertilizers for agriculture. And that has been going on for over 100 years. They might argue, well, on the grand scheme of things, do we need to be feeding our global population or racing cars? The, balances of sustainability and land use and are, it's never black and white, right? There's always going to be trade-offs. That area is being used for so many different things, um, for recreation, for the racing, for mining, um, which is totally in line with what the BLM is mandated to do with their, with their land, right? Multiple uses. Um, but some of these uses are maybe uh, juxtaposed and sort of counteracting each other. It can be very, very difficult to say changes in the salt flats are due to this one thing, right? They're all going to be due to all of these different factors coming in together. But there are some key features that we can look at to try to say, well, what has the impact of mining been? What has the impact of racing been? And that's part of what my group is trying to really work out to understand how the environment has changed, but also what are the drivers of that change?